in a rare move by the Jerusalem District Court, an Israeli border guard has been indicted for manslaughter in the death of a Palestinian teenager. At a protest in the West Bank town of Betunia on May 15th, marking Nakba or Catastrophe Day, when Palestinians mourn the founding of Israel, 17-year-old Nadim Nawada was shot dead. Initially, the Israeli military insisted the troops used only rubber bullets, but it soon emerged from the official autopsy, as well as closed-circuit television footage and exclusive video shot by CNN, that Nawada was killed by live ammunition, the bullet entering his chest and exiting his back. The Israeli Justice Ministry launched an investigation, and Sunday the Jerusalem court issued an indictment against the border guard who's not being named. He's charged with intentionally and unlawfully inserting live ammunition among the blanks usually used to propel rubber bullets. Nawada's father, Siam, reacted angrily to the manslaughter charge, insisting in his words that it was an intentional killing. It wasn't a mistake, he said, describing the border guard as a murderer and a criminal. Some Israelis, however, have rallied to the support of the indicted border guard, a reflection perhaps of the ever-widening gap between Palestinians and Israelis in these tense times. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Jerusalem.